um, 30 degrees is the same as pi over 6 radians, and that would be right here. So I draw out to 30 degrees, and then towards the x-axis again, and then back towards the origin. So there's my right triangle. Now this, down here, is your 30 degree corner. Now if you'll notice on this sample triangle, that opposite from 30 degrees is always going to be the side one half. So over here, 30 degrees is here, then this side right here would be one half. The hypotenuse, this long side, is always 1, which is here on this triangle. And then you can see the other corner is going to be 60 degrees. So, I'm just going to cross that out so that you... There we go. Um, and the opposite from that, here's 60 degrees, the opposite side from that is the square root of 3 over 2. So if I want to find my sine and cosine and tangent, sine is your y value, which is your vertical side here, because y is up and down, one half. Cosine is x, which is your horizontal side, which is positive square root of 3 over 2. And tangent is going to be y divided by x, which is one half divided by square root of 3 over 2. Now, I take the top half, multiply it by the reciprocal of the denominator, the twos are going to cancel, which gives me 1 over the square root of 3. Now, I can't leave the square root of 3 in the denominator, so what I'm going to do to simplify that is I'm going to multiply on the top and the bottom by the square root of 3, which leaves me the square root of 3 on the top, and then this will be the square root of 9 on the bottom, which is just the number 3. Um, 150 degrees is 30 degrees short of 80 degrees, and in radians, that is 5 pi over 6. Okay, so that would be here. That's 150 degrees. So if I draw my angle, or my side, and then I draw back towards the x-axis, and then back to the origin, there's my triangle. Now remember, this is 180, and this is 50, so this degree down here would have to be 30. And if this is 90, then this would have to be 60. Okay? Now remember, what angle is opposite from 30 degrees all the time? That would be over here, or I'm sorry, not what angle, what side length is opposite from 30? It's one half. What side length is opposite from 60? Square root of 3 over 2. However, since this is a horizontal side going left from the origin, it has to be negative square root of 3 over 2 in length. And then your hypotenuse is always 1. So how do I find the sine? Well, that's just my y value, which is your vertical side, 1 half. Cosine is your horizontal side which is negative square root of 3 over 2, because that's x. And your tangent is y divided by x. So that would be 1 half divided by negative square root of 3 over 2. So to simplify this, we take our 1 half, we multiply it by um, the reciprocal, square root, uh, 2 over negative root 3. The 2's are going to cancel, which gives us 1 over negative root 3. And I'm going to multiply on the top and the bottom by the square root of 3, which gives us negative square root of 3 on the top over the square root of 9 on the bottom, which is just 3. <laughs> 210 degrees is right here. Remember, this is 180. So 210 would be here. It's just 30 degrees past the 180 mark. Now, what is that in radians? That's the same. This is 6 pi over 6, so this would be 7 pi over 6. Okay, to draw the triangle, we go down the spoke 
and always back towards the x-axis and back to the origin. This is 30 and that's 90, then this has to be 60. What's the side length opposite from 30 degrees? One half. However, since this is a vertical length and we're going down from the origin, it's actually negative one half. Hypotenuse is always one. The horizontal side opposite from 60 is the square root of three over two. But again, since it's horizontal going left from the origin, this is actually negative. So what's the sign? Well, that's your y value, which is your vertical length here, negative one half. Cosine of this is the same as your x, which is negative square root of three over two. And tangent is y over x, which is um, negative one half divided by negative square root of three over two. Now the negatives are gonna cancel, so I'm just gonna drop them both off and just make them both positive. One half times the reciprocal here is gonna give us twos that cancel. And then the same process I did in the last two questions, I just multiplied on the top and the bottom by the square root of three to get the radical out of the denominator. And we get the square root of three over the square root of nine, which is three. Three hundred thirty degrees is thirty degrees short of three sixty. So if this is three sixty, this would be three thirty. Now as radian, that would be uh, counting in six. That would be eleven pi over six. So here's my spoke in my wheel, going back up here towards the x-axis, and then back towards the origin is my triangle. How many degrees are these two apart? 30, so that's this corner here. And then if this is 30 and that's 90, this would have to be 60. So a 30 degree angle is always opposite from the one half side, but again, because this is going down from the origin, this is a vertical side that would have to be negative one half in length, as we define it here. Um, the hypotenuse is always one. And opposite from 60 degrees is square root of three over two. And that stays positive because that's a horizontal going to the right. Okay, the sign is your y value, which is your vertical here, which is negative one half. Cosine is your x value, which is your horizontal, square root of three over two. And tangent is y divided by x, which would be negative one half divided by the square root of three over two, which is negative one half times two root three. And just like we did in the last three examples, that's just gonna, the twos are gonna cancel and multiply by the square root of three on the top and the bottom which gives you negative root three over square root of nine, which is just three.